Are you concerned about the planet and climate change and how everything's heading? In many ways, the problem is far worse than probably you've ever realised. Certainly, it's my opinion that a lot of the green type people, well, the Greens parties, conservationists and so on, have got pretty much everything wrong. For instance, do solar panels work? Well, I don't think there's been a proper environmental assay done on them. In other words, what did they take out of the ground or whatever to make it? Uh, how long does it last? Can they be recycled? How toxic is the whole process? And all of those sorts of things then give you a bottom line on what's happening. So I, I, at this stage, I haven't got solar panels in my house and I'm not intending to. As for wind farms and all that, again, I don't know whether the cost and the chemicals and everything else involved in building some enormous thing that spins around, whether that's good for the planet at the end of the day, I really don't know. For a long, long time now, certainly over 20 years, I've had the belief that, well, for instance, if I was the Prime Minister, I would have offered a billion dollars, and if I could get other countries with me, a hundred billion dollars reward to the first company that can develop a carbon dioxide scrubber, an environmentally functional, economically affordable thing that gets rid of carbon dioxide from the air. Because if you can do that, we can still have coal-fired power stations and all that. We just put this little thing on the end of the process where the chimney where you're seeing the stuff go out, and all of a sudden, problem solved. But no one's doing that. And, and do we go nuclear? And, and what are the total environmental costs of that? Again, construction, economies, getting rid of all the stuff at the end. I don't know anyone or any group or any government that really worked that out. So be scared, be very scared, because we're all following idiots, lazy people, whatever they are. A lot of the environmental groups are just ideologues. They've got all this fantasy. They'd like to go back to how Australia was before Jim Cook arrived in 1770 and all that stuff. Is there no hope? Yes, there is. But these groups are such dingbats, so lazy and so stupid, that when the answer presents itself, they don't either know or find out about it or whatever. Let me give you an example. Would you agree that China is a dreadful polluter and we should all hate them for it? If you just said yes, I think you're wrong. Now, this is some new research that we've got. I picked it up out of New Scientist magazine, just so you can look it up. It was the 12th of November, 2022. And basically what has happened is we didn't need in the end <laughs> to offer the billion dollars or a hundred billion dollars, somebody has come up with what looks to be a fabulous piece of equipment that takes carbon dioxide out of the air. And you might say, yeah, how much? Well, this one, they've set the factory up and it takes 500,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide out of the air. One machine. Now that's pretty good because <laughs> A tonne of carbon dioxide is a vast amount. Imagine it's just floating around the air at the moment. And guess where it's been, or has been, constructed? China. And China has another one coming along now. And it looks like they might be right. In other words, keep using coal, but force the production of a machine that is economically affordable and net environmentally advantageous in getting rid of the carbon dioxide. And this is very honest research because they've actually factored the pollution from the plant that gets rid of the carbon dioxide into the equation as well. So it really is the complete picture. I find it delicious that it's actually a company in Iceland who has come up with the whole factory idea for getting rid of carbon dioxide. Remember, Iceland is probably the most environmentally friendly country on earth because all of its energy is basically thermal energy, so it's not burning any fossil fuels or, or whatever it is to make electricity and so on. So where do we stand? Well, firstly, I think all of you need to, in some way or another, write a letter, send an email, whatever, to government, whether it's your local representative or whatever, but to get onto these 
factories that get rid of carbon dioxide. They're already putting it on uh, sort of a, a lime type factory, but that aside, if you put them on our energy factories, that is electrical energy, particularly when they're coal based, you put this system in with that factory and it actually could be an improvement for the environment for every year it runs. So anyway, if you want to have a look at it, the whole story is there, but 500,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide removed from the air each year. Now that's what the planet needs. The thing I really love about all this is that this machine that's going to take the carbon dioxide out of the air turns it into methanol. Now methanol is used to make plastics and, and various things that you would want in, in the world. How good is that? They take the carbon dioxide out and turn it into something beneficial. Do you get it at both ends? Why the hell governments, these so-called green groups and all the rest of it haven't done something about it, I don't know. And remember it was some of the scientists early on that made all sorts of crazy claims about what climate change would mean. My definition of an expert, particularly a good scientist, is somebody who knows when to say I don't know. But we do know this, this thing is starting to work and maybe this is the way out. So we can continue to export coal, burn our own coal, and actually be making the environment better every year. We must back the winners in this game. In this case, it is actually China, because they're doing it. One plant already built, another one going up. And Iceland, the one country sh who shouldn't feel guilty at all, because they're not doing anything wrong. Catch up on this and see if we can force the powers that be to lift their game. So what am I saying? Well, the Greens aren't green enough. The conservation group, I don't know, they're not doing much in the way of conserving anything. And the government, or governments, it doesn't matter which one, they're just bamboozled by stuff they don't understand. This is a, a very dangerous period in the planet's history. It really is. Not so much for the fact that climate change is happening, to the fact that we're following dingbats.